Hi, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite tools, and it's a manual tool, so that's saying a lot. Um, it's a, one of these Japanese saws. Um, I have a dovetail one, and then I also have just the regular two-sided flexible one. Um, and I'm going to be talking about both of them and why you should give them a shot too. They're great tools. So this first Japanese saw that I bought, I bought specifically for doing dovetails with. And this is the um, rigid, it doesn't flex, it's got a hard, hardened metal piece here that clamps the blade in. And um, a lot of people claim that they were really good for dovetails, and they are. They're insanely sharp. Um, and will, if you've just used regular saws, they will cut through wood way faster than you ever thought possible. Um, they're extremely precise and they are really easy to use. Of course, they're pull saws instead of push saws. Um, so you're cutting when you're pulling back instead of going forward. Um, but it has been an awesome saw and I've really enjoyed using it. Um, this one is a Gaiokucho S372. Um, that's the dovetail one. And then I also have the Gaiokucho 651. And this one has a uh, ripping side and a cross-cutting side, um, both of which work great. This one is a flexible end, but um, the nice thing about having it be a flexible end is that you can cut um, thicker pieces um, and go right straight through. Um, with this one, you've got this spine on the end and I'll try and I don't know if you can see this or not and I don't use this one quite as much as I use the other one um, it's harder to use of course because you've got this flexible end um, but if you work on your technique you can definitely get it down um, I actually built a like a woodshed um, near my house and I was when I was doing the joinery with that, I used this saw a ton because you could cut right through uh, big beams and get even if you didn't need to go right through it, you can cut a nice deep cut with this saw. So it works great for almost everything. So in the interest of showing you how sharp this saw actually is, um, I've got a piece of solid ash here and I'm going to sacrifice this end just to show you what it can do. I've got a really crude uh, dovetail drawn on the end there and I'm just gonna cut it by hand and show you how fast it goes. Let's see how it does. I don't, I can't speak to the quality of other Japanese saws. I just know that these two cut like butter and I would definitely buy this again if something happened to these two because I end up using them all the time. And um, it's not just for dovetails, it's for little dowels that are sticking out of the end or um, actually yesterday I was building a part of a deck and there was a, just a little piece of board that was sticking off the end. Couldn't get any kind of saw in there. And this saw fit right in and cut it off in 10 seconds and it was done, perfect. So if I was gonna pick one hand tool to buy, I would buy this, this saw. <laughs> um, I like this saw a lot and I use it, but I don't love it as much as I love this saw. Um, it just, you just have amazing control with this saw and um, the quality of the cut is just beautiful. Um, this blade has lasted forever and it's still sharp. 
with this hard back on it, you just have so much control over where the blade is going. You can control it while you're cutting, even if you're not experienced using one of these. And I had never used one before in my life, but um, just practicing with it for a few hours, um, you really get the hang of it and start to appreciate just how sharp it is and how much better it is than anything in the Western dovetail saw market, or at least that's my opinion. And for 40, 50 bucks, I do not know how you can go wrong with this Gaikucho S372 dovetail saw. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.